Redstone can be incredibly tricky. And one of the hardest redstone components for a lot of people to understand is the comparator. So in order to help some people maybe understand it just a little bit more, I set up five demonstrations behind me of the most common use cases for a comparator that you'll probably have in your survival worlds, whether you're playing with friends or by yourself. And we're gonna go through them one by one. Starting right down here with number five, we have the signal extender. This is a circuit that allows you to take a button press and extend the redstone signal that it gives out depending on the number of comparators you have currently attached to it so if we just break a couple of these guys just set it up with just these two you'll notice that's a extension to the length of the button press but it's not nearly as long as if we put these six back in here and did it again it's a much longer button press and it'll allow you to take something like a redstone repeater and power say maybe a redstone lamp if you want to for just that little bit longer especially when you directly compare it to just the button press itself and the way that this works is that the button starts at a full redstone strength but as that signal runs out it is slowly decreasing in signal strength as it goes around until it eventually runs out turning off the light that is a very simplified explanation i didn't want to get too confusing about it next up we have the signal strength in a bucket this is a very simple circuit that basically just takes a comparator to allow you to gauge the amount of water inside of something like this cauldron here so if we take a bucket of water plop it right in here you can see we now have a redstone output from this cauldron but if instead we take something like this water bottle we can fill this up in increments you can see here now that is only a signal strength of one now a signal strength of two and then there is your signal strength of three and you can use this in some really interesting circuits for example i used it multiple times in this redstone clock that i created a couple months ago video here on this channel but you can see that i have a whole bunch of cauldrons with varying water levels here to create different signal strength outputs and you see here a whole bunch of comparators taking multiple outputs from multiple different cauldrons this was a, a, a really impressive build i still to this day am impressed by by myself with this build honestly now this is going to be a really common one if you like to try to trick or trap your friends as you can see here the setup for this has a comparator taking an output from this lectern and putting it into this block with a torch on it which acts as a signal switch currently keeping this door closed and locked however if we read the book and we turn to page two that opens the door because now we have a signal strength of two coming off of the book, which allows us to power this block, turning off this redstone torch and opening the door so we can access all of our diamond blocks. Or if you're feeling a little bit more nefarious, of course, you could use this to say, oh, I don't know, it lights a TNT. I used to use stuff like this a lot when I played on the Unity Craft server a couple years ago, using it for stuff like hidden rooms or that one time i created like a whole mini game maze thing with a whole bunch of hidden entrances and stuff like i i would use stuff like this all the time as well as the cauldrons for that and of course vaults i mean it's just this is just an iron door but if you wanted to create a whole piston door around this thing that'd be pretty easily doable as well the next one is kind of an evolution on this circuit right here this is the t flip flop i'm i'm almost sure that's the correct name if that's not the correct name i'm gonna feel like such a goober but you know what comments will go for the youtube algorithm why don't you go ahead and correct me in the comments down below this is a circuit that utilizes droppers and hoppers as well as obviously comparators in order to create a redstone output that you can toggle on and off with the press of a button now i set up this demonstration here so you can see there's an item in this dropper indicated by this comparator being on however if you press the button and power it again and now the item is over here your most common use case scenario unless you really want to switch back and forth between redstone power which i have utilized it in this way before in builds maybe check out my redstone powered castle build if you want to see some use cases for this where you uh do kind of want to go back and forth however i think the most common use case scenario is to just take a button press and turn it more or less into a lever this is a pretty versatile little setup and uh it's, it's honestly one that i use a lot more than i thought that i ever would and of course last but not least the one that i use all the time in all of my farms the automatic item dropper this is a circuit that i think that if if you want to learn redstone in minecraft this is going to be maybe the most important one for you to grasp especially if you want to take that redstone knowledge to create farms or anything like that having the ability to automatically dispense 
items, whether you want them onto the floor or into some hoppers or the way that I use them most often is into a water stream in order to be sorted into my chest system. This is, this is invaluable. This is an incredible little setup. The comparator here is taking the output from the items inside the dropper to power this block which powers this redstone and of course this redstone which then powers this block sending the signal through here on a delay of two ticks that's very important which then actually turns off the comparator because if this signal strength is stronger than this signal strength comparator will be cancelled it will no longer have the ability to send a signal out that way for the two ticks that this is stronger than this it'll turn off that system meaning there is then no power to this which means then this is stronger than this meaning the power goes back through which means then this is stronger than this which turns it off it, hopefully you kind of understand what i'm getting at here it's a really impressive little system and like i said if understand how to utilize this you will use it all the time now let's talk about one last use case and i don't know how i missed this when i was setting up the displays over here this should have easily been in the top five and i just completely forgot that this is a thing the hopper clock and this works by putting items in the hoppers that are going to get passed back and forth between the hoppers the way that this works so the items aren't just perpetually getting passed back and forth and nothing happens this redstone block actually locks the hopper receiving the items until this one is empty which unpowers the comparator allowing this piston to retract pushing the block over here or over there locking then the hopper beneath it to receive the items and you can use this to take a output from the redstone block allowing you to maybe every five seconds or whatever this loop is on power maybe that door or the t flip-flop or whatever you want to power with it this is an incredibly versatile little contraption and this definitely should have been on the list. And there you have it. Five redstone contraptions utilizing comparators. But hopefully we'll give you a little bit more of an idea of what that block actually even does. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do huge favor and leave that like for me down below before you head out as it really does help out a whole heck of a lot. And subscribe if you guys are indeed new around here. And also, why don't you check out this video right here? This is YouTube's suggestion for you. I, I don't know what this video is, but alternatively, you could check out maybe this video right here. This is actually the video of me creating that clock that i showed you guys a little bit ago so if you guys are interested in redstone contraptions that might be a good one for you know that i'm gonna get out of here hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your day and i see you guys all in the next one Bye bye